games. Also, be nice. Mm, did somebody lose some food? I found this in my cabinet. I have never seen it before, but the old man is trying to convince me it's been there for two years. Hmm, two years. Haha, <laughs> yummy. You need to cook those beans. Mm, nah, I don't know where they came from, but I believe the old man's girlfriend brought them while I was gone, of course. Oh, it looks like it came from the Mexican aisle in the grocery store. Yeah, the family dollar store. I'm pretty sure. Sure. Jeremiah left it here since Pop Pop doesn't want to tell me where it came from. It's been there two years, like he said. Now deal with it. Hmm. So y'all ready to go to jail? I won't play your game. I'm sick of playing it, so just keep it up and I'll go visit the district attorney. Oh, <laughs> is adultery illegal in Oklahoma? Adultery is a felony in Oklahoma, punishable by five years in prison or up to $500 in fines. They're beans. <laughs> oh my God. Don't be sending anyone to jail over beans. <laughs> I've moved into places and literally found beans in the cupboards like months later. I'm pretty sure homes just come with beans now. Jeez. Maybe don't do this. <laughs> What's up, my bearders and weirdos? One topic here. Do, do I, do I look shorter today? <laughs> huh? Anyways, we're diving into r slash insane parents who, among other things, maybe shouldn't be in charge of kids, but are definitely the type of people to act like they have some intrinsic, universally valuable knowledge. <laughs> you just wouldn't understand if you haven't had kids. Mm. But you know the things that they do are super weird because you were once a kid and you saw people doing these weird things and you still remember how weird they are. All right, that's a that's a good summary of today's video. <laughs> this one can sometimes be a little bit of a heavier one, so I promise promise if you make it to the end of the video we are going to watch some wholesome tiktoks i will do that and it will it will will feel better maybe <laughs> by the way did you know that by subscribing to this channel we become roommates and that means it's actually illegal to evict you so while you're here scroll down and just make sure you're still subscribed all right let's get started when a child first sets foot into school, he is presented with a globe, books on dinosaurs, stories of the moon landing, photographs of the Titanic, very normal things I would think to include in someone's education as a child. This is a good thing. The brainwashing starts early. Oh, no, th this is a bad thing. <laughs> I, I... <laughs> oh no! I'm familiar with Flat Earth. I'm familiar with like dinosaurs aren't real. I... The Titanic? Do they think that the boats aren't real now? Oh, not the boats. <laughs> mm. I need advice. All moms on my timeline. Assemble! <laughs> my daughter is 3.5 year. School from 9 to 1 p.m. Tuition from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Dance class 6.15 to 7 p.m. Reach home by 7.30 p.m. Eat food and sleep by 9 p.m. Am I overburdening her? The way this is all written, it looks like it's supposed to be some kind of like subtle flex. Like, haha, <laughs> look at to me i am the most parent around <laughs> i don't think any kid should have that many is that your kid's age i thought that <laughs> my daughter is 3.5 year i thought that meant like in school like high school or something this is a baby why is your baby why is your baby busy from 9 a.m to 9 p.m where is your bonding time scheduled where is the actual time scheduled in for you to be a parent and not just a chauffeur from activity to activity hey grandma says you've disowned the family i tell her i cannot even get into your complex have a good life yep <laughs> <laughs> oh no oh no are they making their own memes now why why is the text not white if it's going to be on a dark background, <laughs> why is the bubble red? Is the bubble red because black was too hard to see? Then why do <laughs> I tell her I cannot even get into your complex. Do you mean the place that they live or are you saying that they have a complex? Oh no. Okay, y'all. I had a mommy moment about a month ago and smashed my son's Xbox. Love me or hate me for it. Hate, probably. <laughs> Given those two options. Not love. <laughs> the question is, does anyone have one they're willing to sell? Hindsight being 2020 and all. Now I feel bad. Help a mom out. <sighs> if the parent's going to make a mistake, at least they're trying to rectify it. Yeah. <laughs> this screams that maybe 
Maybe your kid didn't do the thing that you thought they did that you thought you were going to punish them for by smashing their possessions and then you realized, whoopsie, maybe I was the one who left that dish out. Whoopsie. <laughs> and now you want to make up for it? Uh, still bad, but not as much as it could be. <laughs> okay, don't like come for me, lol, but we rub my pee pee diaper on her face. Ah! And do Vaseline a few times a day. I know it sounds crazy. Then why are you... Why? Why? Oh, but it was done to me when I was a baby, too. And we all have great skin with no problems. Baby acne goes away on its own, yes. But I didn't like seeing my baby like that either. So I went to work helping it go away fast, lol. Didn't last on her long at all once I started being consistent. I feel like that emoji is us. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you know what else makes the acne go away? Usually time. <laughs> Don't put diapers on your kid's face, you very strange person. Natural Christian Mamas Community. Is there any such thing as a true science textbook that teaches theories as theories? It doesn't just tell people what to believe, especially when it comes to modern medicine, astronomy, the shape of the earth. No! <laughs> oh gosh. I wish people had a better understanding of how science uses the word theory as a way to talk about what the evidence demonstrates rather than what we might conversationally say a theory is as just based on wild speculation. <laughs> Mother found out I'm gay. She's okay with it as long as it's not her children. Oh. Open your eyes. Be safe. Don't be manipulated. I will always be here. Door will always be open. You are in a really dangerous place, though, and I'm really worried. And if you were going to treat me like this, then I chat with your dad. Let's see what he thinks, and I want paid for the car and your insurance. If what you are doing is so successful, then you can pay your way. It's not okay. I'm not being manipulated. Open your eyes. It's not normal what you're doing doing or how you're living. Waken up. She is manipulating you and she will push you to the side as soon as she is bored with you and you will lose everything. I'm done with this. It's wrong and it's disgusting and it's not what I want for my daughter. You're living in some fantasy world. Your dad is going to be so upset and disgusted too. And he is going to blame me. Your grand and granddad will be killed. Wow. If you're not ready to accept your kids for who they are, which is their own independent people, they're not meant to just be some sort of carbon copies of you or some sort of reflection of how you value yourself, then the problem is not at all with your kids. It's with you. You should be moving back home. Clean slate and start over. Get away from these crazies. And I should be texting Martha to tell her how disappointed and disgusting this whole situation is. And maybe Beth should know. I... Anything at all that you can do to separate yourself from people that are going to call you disgusting for just being you? Getting away from this kind of mentality is one of the healthiest things you can do. For someone who states that they're so worried that you're being manipulated in your current living situation, they really attempted several times to manipulate you. Telling you that they're holding this information above your head, that they could just dole it out to the other people in your life, your dad, your grandparents, other people in your life, unless the very not so subtle hint, unless you move home and start over clean slate to get away from these crazies never be ashamed of who you are don't let someone like this intimidate you don't talk to anyone no no i need the password for school don't open the door you're not getting it ever then that's for your own good dolly it's how i get into my xbox why is it for my own good i don't give a shot someone has been nust nust Nutmegging into it and used it for loans and court fuffers. Court fuffers! If they're a rat, we get blamed! What? Just change the password then? They just want to play on Xbox. <laughs> Tomorrow's open house for my kids' school. I can't wait to debate all the teachers on why there should be. On why there, sh there should be no pride flags in the classrooms. Fun times. I'll keep the fight for my kids and, and yours. I live in the second worst Democrat state. 
Illinois! <laughs> There's an amazing tweet. As long as my teacher can teach my kid the difference between there, there, and there, they really don't care. I don't know why some parents and, like, <laughs> some straight people just hate colors. It's the weirdest thing. There's bigger stuff to be worried about. Like whether or not your kid knows the difference between there, there and there. <laughs> All the men out there treat my baby girl like a lady and you won't see daddy behind her. That's what? <laughs> the, ah, uh, uh, uh. the picture is of a guy with a big axe and a sledgehammer standing behind a very small young girl, maybe like eight? This is the weirdest post. What kind of men is this post targeting? Is this not 10 years too early for this kind of thing? Why would you want someone to treat your eight-year-old kid as a lady? Too many layers of weird on it for me. If your mother-in-law set up an old dummy she had to look like her recently deceased husband, your father-in-law, in her living room, would you still take your small children to her house? Baptist Pentecostal background. She speaks to it as her husband, too. Um, ah, uh, I, 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 it does seem like your mother-in-law is trying to work through her grief by having some sort of stand-in for her husband. This might be part of her grieving process, but it, were I to be a child, that would creep the heck out of me. I'm in search of an attorney to help me see my grandchildren with difficult grown children. This is so often the result of being an insane parent. Your kids don't want anything to do with you. Why do you think they would let their kids see you? Nope. <laughs> There's a reason you're not getting a call at Christmas. You can't fix that by getting an attorney. She's been dead for a while. A hologram was even used for the Jubilee. It's public now because timing is everything. Here we go. It's absolutely possible. <laughs> was this about the queen? She was so old. Who cares when she died? Why is this? <laughs> Why is this a conspiracy? My daughter Redline is going to grow up in a wild world. Never too young to teach self-defense and firearm safety. She'll be pinging targets in no time. That's that is a picture of a baby with a f nerf gun. I'm not I'm not going to show that. Why would you post that? That's literally a baby with a not a water pistol. Never too young. Absolutely too young. On your way home? Eh, not quite. Sleep is important, son. Yep. I meant for me. La 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 la. <laughs> it is 9.30. Time for bed. For everyone, including you. Bedtime. What the heck? You're a stupid a-hole, idiot. Mom, damn. <laughs> I wasn't even awake after the first two replies because I was taking a nap at my girlfriend's house. 23 years old paying rent. Ma, you gotta, they're an adult, you gotta let it go. <laughs> if your kid's gonna have a sleepover at someone else's house and they're 23 and they're paying rent, maybe chill a bit and don't call them an a-hole. <laughs> if you're trying to institute a curfew on a 23 year old, I can see why they're barely texting back with kind of like a meh blase attitude. They're a full on adult. Hello, high school students. I am a very concerned parent of a high school student. My son, who is a junior and has been dating a girl for about four months, she seemed nice, intelligent, and attractive. So I had no concerns about the relationship at first. Uh, it's a weird list of qualifications. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> However, last week I discovered that two of her grandparents were born in a foreign country and immigrated to the United States. I was shocked. Shocked, I tell you. <laughs> Flipping what? <laughs> I do my level best to keep my family safe from immigrants and their spawn. Their children, you mean? Because she is white, I definitely did not expect her to have immigrant grandparents. I talked to my son about this, and he said that he was not willing to break up with her over this. Furthermore, he has, he has been very rude and ornery to me ever since I brought this up with him. He seems annoyed that I am looking out for his best interest. What a weird twist you're making here. How do I make him break up with her? Concerned parent. Are you posting this on like your kid's high school Facebook page? Ew. <laughs> Tons of people's grandparents have immigrated over here. What are you talking about? But you, you, your family. <laughs> I genuinely hate my child. I'd love to see her real dad cope with all the I have to. Who the 
decides kids were a good idea. I'm seriously gonna end up unaliving it. Either that or phoning social services to take it off me. I hate it. She's a kid. No, she's not. She's never even seen a kid. She's awful. She's naughty. Hate her with a passion. I swear to God. I'm gonna end up stringing up on a wash wa with his toes. Spoiled. How the f can you speak like that about your own child? Be grateful you can have children in the first place. Me. Ah, <laughs> I'm glad at least, ah, I'm glad at least that when some of these parents are airing their grievances, there are other parents that are sane out there that can read this and go like, um, actually, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, poor computer. Bink. The only thing it belongs to you, it's gone. You're so immature, Lamau. Grow up. Bing. <laughs> Ah, uh, another parent having a mommy moment. From mom! I'm going to church. Wanna go? I'm spreading the love. <laughs> no. Number one, I am not religious. Number two, I have COVID. <laughs> Both bad reasons. I was really hoping to see you in the afterlife. Maybe I'd see you more there than I do now. <sighs> you were so responsible. Vaccinating and isolating. You really helped humanity. Damn, <laughs> I can see why your kid does not want to go to church with you. I can see why they don't want to share the same values as you. It's kind of weird to see the person that's hyping up going to church, talking about spreading the love, and also seeing that person being the one that like laughs at trying to help their fellow person. Hypocrite. <laughs> Asking for a friend. I love my seven-year-old son's name, Andrew, but I hate the nickname Andy. When we named him Andrew, we agreed to only use the long version and never the nickname. We moved over the summer and somehow he has become Andy in his new school? I made an appointment with the teacher to discuss the situation. She apologized and said that she would call him Andrew. She said that she would make one class announcement. As you you can imagine this has been totally ineffective all the kids are still calling him andy i made another appointment with the teacher but she was not helpful she said that andrew never objects to being called andy and sometimes even introduces himself as andy to me this is irrelevant he is seven years old and i am his mother and i get to decide what people call him she is not willing to correct the other students in the moment when they call him andy i would like to to take this matter to the principal. My husband feels like I'm overreacting. If we don't get this under control now, he will be Andy for the rest of his life. Sounds like you might be the kind of parent that uses your kid's full name when they're in trouble. Andrew, Andrew, no. <laughs> it would make sense why your kid might wanna go by kind of a nickname instead of their full name then. Most kids do. I get that you want to be the helicopter parent and police all of the kids around your kids and your kid and the teacher and the school and your husband, but <laughs> you don't really have that level of control over everyone and just let it go. I mean, usually kids kind of grow out of the shortened forms of their names and as they become adults, they prefer the longer ones. But if they don't and your kid prefers Andy, maybe let it go. <laughs> you ever wonder if it's possible for your kids to grow up not knowing what technology is? Raise them on a farm in the middle of nowhere? Never expose them to any modern tech. Candles and typewriters in the home. Fake maps so they think there's no world outside of the farm. That, that, this is cult behavior. That's not healthy. Ah, educate them about the outside world. That's scary. In 2022? No technology? How did you post this? What? There's nothing wrong with wanting to raise your kids in like the country, but like making fake maps so they can't escape your home? Uh, that's from mom. Okay, here's one for you. I was investigated to 50 times for abusing children and I was never found. It found out it never was I abused children, never you're lying. And if I did abuse you, how come you never told the investigators that 50 times? What the hell happened here? Both kids tested positive for the flu, strand B, and both are out of school for the rest of the week. I have been spraying Lysol in this house like a preacher would spray holy water in a brothel. Uh -huh. Just curious, did your kiddos get the flu shot? I refuse to get the flu shot because I've seen how sick people have been after getting it. They're sick presently. Don't you think it would have helped? I don't want to expose them to chemicals. Sprays Lysol over the house. 
I won the Worst Mother Award today. So the kids are losing it. I just broke the news to them. We came home to two packages. One was heavy. 27.8 pounds, I think it was. They asked what was in there. I said to Cody, something for you, Jules and Lily. They were excited at first. I said, it's a bunch of shampoo and conditioner that you guys paid for. They cried and are now mad that I used their money. I said, well, I'm tired of buying it. Like a parent should like buy soap for their kids i'm just sick of doing it you do it child get a job <laughs> pull yourself up by your child-sized bootstraps i'm tired of buying it and you all wasting it in one day so i thought being their mother and having the authority to do so just sliding that in just that i'm legally allowed to do this nobody can waggle their finger at me legally anyways <laughs> that's how you know you're on the the right side of history is you didn't legally do anything wrong but you just gotta cite that as well you gotta tell everyone it's not illegal that i did this if i bought it with their money gift cards they wouldn't waste it being it's their money i bought 60 some dollars worth of shampoo conditioner body wash with their gift cards from amazon i put a little money towards it too but i bought it all in bulk like 15 bottles total i think for everything mentally i feel like it will last longer but hmm but yeah, worst mom, and I am fine with that. I say, posting this online, hoping to get validation for my strange antics. You took gifts away from your kids to buy cleaning supplies. I will live another day knowing that I am making my kids pay consequences for their actions and it not costing me a dime. I am tired of being mad and upset and watching bottles I pay for used as bubble bath for their whole heads just because. Now I can't feel bad. You haven't really specified where the uh, where those Amazon gift cards came from, huh? Were they like birthday presents, Christmas presents? Did you take your kids Christmas presents and buy shampoo with it? You've skipped some details that would make you look like you're not in the right on this one. If you don't want your kids using their whole shampoo as bubble bath, I mean, bubble bath at the dollar store is like a... It's a dollar. <laughs> there are alternatives to what you've done. Ones where you wouldn't be pinning the Worst Mother Award medal on yourself. My mom's religious book club hounding me repeatedly after I explicitly said I wouldn't join. She continues to make them message me so I can't be rude and say no. Please read and report. 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 Prayer hands. That'll make the difference. <laughs> Please read and report. Prayer hands again. Please read and report. No prayer hands this time. Couldn't be bothered. <laughs> Worst way to get someone to join your religious cult. I mean, book... Book club. <laughs> that slipped out. <laughs> My dad's posts on Instagram. I stopped talking to him years ago. I think he might be upset that I'm trans. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Never ever in my life have I been insulted by a celebrity like I was tonight because my profile says I identify as a broom. If any of you veterans know, we are janitors first and killers second. Not to mention if you watch Family Guy, you also know that inside inside joke. Uh, what? <laughs> I've seen Family Guy, but it's been on since like 1999 like <laughs> what what inside joke would you be referencing from that that's so vague that's like saying simpsons did it <laughs> like probably but when <laughs> my comments on my profile are in no way transphobic or any phobic for that matter it's my sense of humor and that's that i'm absolutely beside myself right now blasted me on the public forum i think he might have goofed up <laughs> you know what i've had enough of the post let's look at tiktok <laughs> that's so awesome. <laughs> that's too dang cute. I love that. His grandparents stopped by his house while he was on vacation to send him a message on his doorbell camera. <laughs> we, we drank all your beer, buddy. Bye, man. Have a wonderful vacation. We love you. Love you, bud. His grandparents stopped <laughs> by just, his house while he was on vacation. They just drove by to go visit his house and leave him a message. That's too dang cute. <laughs> we drank all your beer. Oh, grandpa. Me being scared, my dad won't accept me for being gay. My dad with my girlfriend. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> God dang it, that's cute. Daughter cheers for her dad at his graduation. Love you, 
<laughs> I love that. It's my boyfriend's birthday, and my deaf parents sent this to him while they're on holiday. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, all right. Oh, that one got me. That one hit me right in the feels. <laughs> I don't know how you two are to your cousin. Very to me, I have a meeting and now, sorry, rain check. But there is the sun. <laughs> what does that mean, the rain check? Tell him that you checked the rain. And it's not raining outside and you're okay. Yeah, maybe where he wrong. is, rain. Yeah, maybe. That's what <laughs> because we're here, there is no rain. Yep. Yep. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> oh, oh, you can't keep tricking Carlo. He's trying to learn English. Come on now. <laughs> All right, my birdies and weirdos. That was our dive into r slash insane parents. I hope, <laughs> I hope going through a few of the TikToks at the end can help remind us that even though there's a lot of really weird, strange parents out there, there's also a lot of really good, really wholesome ones that absolutely care about their kids. It's good to see that sometimes. It's my five-year-old neighbor hates me, but is making sure I'm... <laughs> um, I don't know. I think, like, three more months. Oh, but that's not my kid. That's the other neighbors. Do you know what I should name my baby yet? Like, do you have an actual name? What about Jordan's baby? Dennis, of course. My dad's middle name. Dennis? Is that your dad's middle name? Do you want it back? Do. I'll go get it. <laughs> Is this what you want? Maybe they can be besties with your boys. You reckon? Yeah. Zave, do you want a friend? He's like, uh, what do you think I'm doing? I've one of the best friends for 10 years. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get one, Zave. Alright, I'm gonna chuck it over. <laughs> there you go. What do I do when um, my baby starts crying <laughs> and I need to make it stop crying? I don't make it go to sleep. Can I turn off the batteries or like switch it off? I can't like take the batteries <laughs> out of it. Well, if it. If it bees naughty, can I take it back to the shop? But <laughs> you sure? Yeah. I'll keep it. I think I'll like him. Yeah, Andrew can just like gulp him and, and he'll be back in her tummy. Oh, oh, okay. All right. That's the last one. Oh, God. I love that. I love their interactions. They're so cute. If you're not familiar with them on TikTok, you should definitely follow them. Always takes two. Oh, it's just really silly. <laughs> All right, my birdies and weirdos. That's the last one. We're ending today's video here. I really appreciate you dropping by. I hope, I hope even through all of that, you still enjoyed today's video. And if not, thanks for keeping me company while the video was playing. I appreciated that. Thank you for leaving a comment in the comment zone. <laughs> all right. We'll see you in the next one where we take it one topic at a time. Roll that outro. <laughs> all right. Get out of here.